We are joined by Zoom by Sunny Azdeb, who is a security analyst. Good afternoon, Sunny. Good to have you on Midday Life. Good afternoon, my brother. Sunny, there are calls for investigations into this alleged killings of civilians by the military in Boko. And per the release by the Ghana Armed Forces, it says the military is not involved in this. What should, uh, form should this very investigation take? Well, it is not enough. Uh, for the military to just come out and tell us they are not responsible and we take it in hook, line, and sinker. Things don't happen that way. I must say, uh, there are certain individuals on the ground who are very livid about what's going on. I spoke with uh, one such person who said, quote, they are in our town, they are drinking our water, they are eating our food, and they are killing us, unquote. That is remarkable. And so the only way out at this time is for a thorough, independent investigation into the matter. Because the peers, we wouldn't want the military to be a third party. We wouldn't want the military to be a legitimate target. That is why we need to ensure that an investigation is done so everybody would get to know the full facts of the matter. I am not in any way denying the fact that there are situations where or when the military can use lethal force. The okay. force should always be proportional to the threat level. So wow. if the military is being fired upon, they reserve the right to return fire. But okay. we still need to know the answers to the many questions lingering around. Okay. Sunny, I'm sure you're privy to the release by the Ghana Armed Forces, and uh, the MP for Zibola, Kletus Avoka, has reacted to that. He says it's more like a face-saving approach by the Ghana Armed Forces. Obviously, they will admit to the killings. Uh, what do you make of the release? I'm sure you, you, you're privy to it. A statement is not enough. A statement is one step towards making the people understand that, hey, we heard you. We are concerned about what happened, but these are the facts of the matter. But it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there at all. Um, that investigation would have to be conducted. However, it doesn't have to be done by the military. Nobody would take it seriously. I mean, I per se would not take it seriously because getting the military to investigate the military uh, might, you know, brew some skepticism. Okay, so we need an independent body to look into what really happened. I've had so many calls from Boku, so many people calling me to tell me. Different sides of the story. It's just a matter of he said, she said, someone's word against another person's word. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, there was this talk about a young lad, about 12 year old, who was executed also. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the military contended. I think their commander appeared before the Zoran. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he contended the boy wasn't a small boy. He was beyond 18 years old. And that the father of the boy said he had the birth set and that he could even produce it mm -hmm. to confirm that indeed he, he was um, a lad. So there's a lot of talk about what's going on. There's a lot of anger on the ground. But mm -hmm. the only way out is for accountability to prevail. If wow. not, the police, uh, I mean, the military would be seen as a third party to this conflict. That is already getting complexing by the day. Now, you just don't have Mampusis or Kusasis getting killed. Now, houses, Fulanis, Moshis, uh, uh, Bises, Dagombes, neutrals are getting killed. And the conflict seems to even be um, expanding um, by the day. And the fear of it even expanding to and uh, Nalergu, Bimbila, and some other, you know, Pusiga and some other towns and villages around, is very high. The fear of terrorists taking advantage of the lawless nature of that place to come into the country. The fear of certain criminal elements taking advantage of the lawless nature of the area to engage in their criminal okay. activity, such as, you know, cattle rustling, human trafficking, weapons trafficking, etc., is also very much pronounced. So okay. one thing is for sure, we can never secure Ghana without Boku. Hate it or love it, Boku is part and parcel of Ghana. It is not a northern affair. This is a matter of national security, and we have to, first of all, identify that for a fact. Okay, okay. Fanny, before I let you go, let's talk about the issue of conflict preneur. Preneur, where you know some people are benefiting from this very, very conflict. There are concerns that some people are you know, supplying weapons to the factions involved in this conflict. How worrying is this situation? Well, I mean, um, it is a fact. There, there, there cannot be a conflict without the weapons. The weapons is what is actually stoking it more. 
Um, there are some people benefiting from it. Like I always say in the past, politics, co political commitment in that regard would be a game changer. Unfortunately, the politics is also used for the wrong things. Okay, mm -hmm. um, One of the biggest issues Boku has for years on end is politics. People taking advantage of what is going on to make money, to get political clout, etc. And mind you, those that are funding, those that are giving them the weapons are not in Boku. The main people, they are not in Boku, but they make the calls. So from are they? Kumasi, from Techiman, from Tamale, from Accra, and get things done. So if we are able to stop the flow, if we are able to stop them supplying them the weapons, and of course the, 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 the funds, we would be able to a large extent stop the belligerence. But it doesn't end there. We need to approach it from the human security perspective. Sure. Jobs for the youth, um, people having access to basic necessities of life, water, food, sanitation, health, etc. By so doing, we should be dealing with it in a much more sustainable basis. And mind you, and I'll say this for the record, there is never, never a military solution to any conflict situation in any part of the world. Sure, sure. Thank you so much for your time, Sani Adib, and also thank you for the clarity as well. Sani Adib is a security analyst and will still be following up on this very issue and update you subsequently in our bulletins. Away from that, the Ghana National Gas Company is set to construct another gas processing plant. The construction of the train, too, will have a capacity of 150 million.